Have you ever wondered why rich people aren't always super happy? And have you ever wondered why poor people aren't always just sad? And it comes down to a few simple things that I want to talk about in this podcast. What is up, guys? My name is Logan Chamelon, and this is the Defying Odds podcast. This is a short version. It's just me. I want to get something off my chest that I just lived uh, in my life. And it's something that I've known for a while and I've practiced for the past, you know, five years. Uh, but I just had a different situation uh, where it really, really was apparent to me. I want to talk about how the quality of your life comes down to nothing besides it, it the quality of your life comes down to the quality of the emotions that you live in and anything outside of that any external factors regardless of if you're healthy or if you're sick or if you're wealthy or if you're poor or if you have a nice house or a nice car or a in shape body it doesn't matter nothing externally no houses, no cars, no uh, savings, no good job, not even health insurance. None of that actually changes the quality of your life. Yes, it, I mean, you could argue that some of it does. But more importantly than that, the quality of your life is the quality of your emotions. And regardless of all of those external factors, regardless of you know the house you live in, the state you live in, the country you live in, regardless of your health conditions, regardless of if you're actually going through a disease and getting surgeries like I spent the past six years of my life getting, regardless of where you are in life, that doesn't control the quality of your life. What controls the quality of your life is the quality of your emotions, where you live on a consistent basis. And a story that I want to go into, there is two parts. I think the happiest time in my entire life was probably two years ago, right after I got my ostomy bag surgery. I went in massive surgery. Um, I think I was in the hospital for a week, and I basically had three different intestine intestinal resections done at once. And then I had an ostomy bag put on the outside of me. And after that, I went through a recovery process where I was so focused on just making myself better and growing on a daily basis and running and starting to work out again and getting healthier. But this time of my life, I was at such a high emotionally because I just spent, I just had a very, very, very low time in my life. And I was so happy and so grateful just to be getting better. And at the time, I, I didn't have a nice vehicle. I, you know, I didn't have a nice house. I didn't make a lot of money. I really didn't have, I didn't even have a good body, a healthy body at the time. But I was creating emotions in my body that made me cry with happiness every single day. I was running on a consistent basis and I was just in love with life. And I was super, super happy. And if I relate that to where I'm at now, now, you know, I have a nice vehicle. Uh, I live in a different house, a nicer house. Um, I'm more independent. I just moved into an office space. I'm taking on more employees. We're getting more cash flow. I'm growing the business. I have a greater quality of life now than I've ever had in my life before. But that doesn't mean that I have a greater quality of emotions. That doesn't mean I'm happier. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm more joyful or I'm more fulfilled all that means is my external factors, the external things in my life have gotten better, yes. But that hasn't made me happier. And I think that's a great lesson to be constantly self-aware about is that, look, yeah, I want to keep on growing the business. I want to keep on growing my life and expanding the quality of my life and becoming a greater human in growing and developing and becoming more and feeling more and opening my world to new emotions and new people and new relationships for the rest of my life just continuing to grow and contribute. But the external things in my life along the route throughout my life will not control how I feel. They won't make me happier. They won't control my emotions and therefore they won't control the quality of my life. So being self-aware along the journey of actually building and growing and doing new things where obviously you need to have a 
deep, large amount of hunger to keep on growing, regardless of how much you achieve or not, you need to be self-aware that that isn't actually what's going to create happiness. So instead of looking to external things to create your happiness, I bring this up and I make this podcast because I think it should be the opposite. And it's true that the opposite, that you need to have eternal happiness and internal joy and appreciation for life and gratefulness for everything around you first. Because honestly, if you're not happy when you have nothing, if you're not grateful when you have nothing, if you're not joyful and hungry and determined and beautiful when you have nothing, then you won't feel those emotions and you won't consistently create them when you do achieve everything you could ever imagine. And the second part of the story, I recently went to a Tony Robbins event in Florida. I'm not going to get into specifics, but basically here in Pennsylvania, you know, it's colder weather. (laughs) It's getting cold now. I have a lot more obligations. You know, I work every single day. It's much more of a, a regimen here. And I went to Florida. It wasn't for a vacation, but I went for a volunteering event. And the event was amazing, don't get me wrong. But there was one day where we actually did nothing. It was like this day was the vacation of it. You know, we got to relax and we were going out on a boat. We were in Florida. It was super nice out. And we were running a boat. We went to this island, a beautiful experience. Externally, it was a beautiful experience. But things outside of my control, um, there was just a weird emotion with the group of people that I was with. And I even love these people that I was with. But this day just was weird. And I was like, how can we be in Florida right now on a boat that we rented for the day, on a private island with, you know, food and drinks and a beautiful Airbnb and pool to go back to after this beautiful, amazing four-day personal development event? Like, when I talk about where we were and what we were doing, it sounds amazing. It sounds beautiful and it makes it look beautiful, like just per- the perfect vacation. But when I was there, I was, it was very stressful and very uh, annoying just because, um, I, I mean, I love the people that I was with, but they were just s- stressing out and they were in a rush and they were, there was little arguments going on and there was like just like dialogue. And I'm like, why are we talking about this? Why are you arguing? Why is this a rush? Why is there so much pressure when we literally are going out on a boat to have fun and enjoy ourselves? And I think that was a good reality check where it's like, look, I can be in Florida. You know, I can move to Florida. I can have a beautiful house. I can have a pool in the backyard. I can have my own boat. We can go to our own private island and still not have a great quality of life. It really brings into perspective how the external factors in your life really don't have any control. The quality of your life is truly in the quality of your emotions. The emotions that you feel consistently. The emotions that you feel habitually. So that's it. That's my short little podcast going into just the importance of the emotions that you create within yourself on a daily basis. That's all. That's the defying odd the Defying Oddcast. That's the Defying Podcast with Logan Tremellon. Short version. I appreciate you. Thanks for listening. If you want to watch this in video form, it's on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, I appreciate you. And I'll see you soon. Bam.